All right, so now that we have the basic HTML done for our template or our layout, our view, whatever you want to call it, uh, now we have to add the custom CSS. We're using the, the Bootstrap CSS. Uh, as you can see, there are stylings here. We have a, a navigation bar. Um, we have uh, buttons, styled buttons, list items, uh, things like that, which come with core Bootstrap. But for our custom content, like in here, uh, in the main area, and also the nav bar, we actually want to change around too to look to look like this. Okay, so it's going to be a different color. It's going to be a little smaller. Um, things like that. All right. So what we want to do is open up your custom.css file. All right, and what we have here now is just what came with the starter template. All right, so I'm actually going to get rid of this here, the starter template class. We don't need that. Um, and then for the body, uh, I'm going to change the padding top to 60. Um, and we're going to add a few more things here. Okay, we want to add a, a light gray background for our site. Um, and that's going to be F4, F4, F4. All right, and that's just a, a very light gray background. And we're going to change the font size to 15 pixels. All right, so that should do it for the body. Let's just save that um, and reload. And you can see that now the font, font's a little bigger. Background is now light gray. All right, so I'm going to try to go through this pretty quick. Um, I might copy and paste some stuff. Uh, for our links, we're going to have a color, and it's going to be kind of that grayish purpley color. Uh, let's see, 5C5B69. All right, so that's the links. Uh, we also want our unordered lists. And you can notice that these elements don't have a class or an ID. It's basically affecting all of the links and all of the lists. All right, so padding is going to be zero, margin zero. And we want to make sure that we have list style of none. Okay, so that'll get rid of any bullets. Uh, next, we want a horizontal rule tag, which is basically just the lines that separate uh, certain parts of the content. We're just gonna add a margin to. So 10 on the top, zero, 15, and zero. All right, and the last core element that we wanna style are the H3 tags. Okay, so H3, I just want to add a margin to the bottom, uh, five pixels. All right, so that's it for the core styles. Next, we're going to do the navigation bar. All right, so the nav bar, um, it's just a class of nav bar. All right, so we're going to set this height to 40 pixels and we're going to use the important tag here just to make sure that we overwrite the default settings and there's actually one thing we need to change in the bootstrap.css file and that's the minimum height on the nav bar so let me just see if I can find that I don't think I already changed it Um, maybe I did. Let me search for min height. Oh, just went past it. All right, so we have nav bar, min height, 50 pixels. I want to get rid of that. All right, so I just want to make sure we save that and close it. And... We get rid of that and we'll keep working on the nav bar. Uh, next, I want to change the color. So the background is going to be that same purplish gray color. All right, um, what else? Border, I want to set the border to zero and give it a margin bottom of 30 pixels. 
All right. Now I'm going to paste in some more styles for the nav bar uh, just to move it along. All right, so we'll start here. We have basically um, we want the, the color of all the links okay, that are in the list item and also the link in the brand, which is the logo. We want them to be white. Okay, We want the coloring to be white. Um, here we're just setting a, a background to none for any links that are hovered as well as an active link. Uh, we just don't want any background for that. Um, the navbar brand is where the logo is, so we're just giving 10 pixels on the top, and again, making sure that it's white. And then here, we're just taking the links and adding some padding to them. All right, so let's save that and take a look. All right, so there's our navigation bar. You can see now it's it matches the final version. All right, so let's move on from that. All right, so next what I want to define is the block class. Okay, so block. And we're going to wrap the main content as well as each sidebar block or module um, in this class. And basically it's just going to be a, a white background. And we're going to make the, um, I'm going to give it slightly rounded corners um, with border radius. We'll do five pixels and let's see uh, padding I'm gonna do 15 on the top and bottom and 20 on the sides and give it a margin bottom of 20 pixels all right so let's take a look at that all right so now you can see our mod our sidebar blocks have it our main content has it all right, so the next thing is going to be our main column. So main call. And it's going to have an overflow of auto. OK, that's it for the, the actual main call div. Um, now we want the main column h1. And I'm going to make the font size 22. And a margin of five on the top, zero everywhere else. Uh, and then padding is going to be zero as well. Okay, so that's the H1. Now let's do the H4. Okay, H4 is going to have a font size of 16. Um, margin is going to be the same, padding is the same. I'm going to change the color to a gray. So color is going to be triple A's. Okay, so next I want to do the sidebar. Actually, let's take a look at it. And what we just changed was were these headings here. So if we reload, it looks the exact same. All right. Um, let me just check the HTML. Did we even do the main column? Okay, it's a it's a class, not an ID. So we gotta just replace this with a dot. Alright, much better. Alright, so now I just want to do these headings over here in the sidebar. And let me just make sure that it's a class of sidebar. Okay, no, it's an ID. I'm actually going to change it to class. We'll have to change the inner pages as well, um, but I'll do that after. All right, so let's see. We want um, sidebar block H3. And let's see, we'll do a margin, top zero. And uh, padding bottom will be 10 pixels. Um, and we want a border as well, border bottom. Okay, we'll make that gray, solid one pixel. 
Okay, so that's for the sidebar. Next, we want to do uh, the topic, which I believe are, are these blocks here. I think each one is a topic. Let me just check. We get topics, topic content, main top. All oh, right, here. Okay, yeah, class topic. All right, so we'll do that. Topic, and I'm just gonna paste some um, styles in here. Okay, so we're just going to give it a, a bottom border, uh, padding, margin, so padding bottom and then padding, I guess we don't need that. All right, uh, and let me just grab some more. All right, so here we have our topic content, we want to span 100%. Um, our image, our avatar, we want 100%, um, which is basically going to be 100% of the, the parent div. So it should make it smaller. So let's save that. And you can see that the div is, is basically right here. It's the, the column div. So we want the image to span 100% of that. So it should go down in size. All right. So that's good. That's what we want. All right. All right, so next I want to do the list group uh, over here. We have it for our categories. Uh, I just want to change this up a little bit, change the color. Um, so I'm going to paste this in. All right, basically we're saying that the active link, we want to have a background of that gray purple color. Um, and we're just setting a border to zero on each item. So let's save that. Okay, so you can see we, we sharpen the borders and, and change the color. Okay, when you hover, it has a nice light gray, so that looks good. We got rid of the border. All right, so now I want to do the main topic. Um, when we click, actually, hold on a second. All right, yeah, so when we click here, the main topic is at the top. We want to differentiate those from the replies, which are below it. So we're going to set a background color for that. And I can't remember if it was a class or an ID. Um, I can't seem to find it. Um, oh, that's because we're on the index page. I need to be in the topic page. All right, so ID main topic. All right, so let's um, give this a background of light gray. And I'm also going to add some padding to it. We'll do 10 pixels. All right. Um, next, I want to do this little block over here. OK, I think it's the user info block. So what I'm going to do is just paste those styles in. All right, so the first one is basically the entire block. We'll give it a border, some padding, font size, the image. Um, we're going to give a, a margin to the bottom. The, the list is going to have no bullets, so it's a margin. And then the actual list item, we'll just give it a line height. All right, so that'll make that look a little better. All right, so that looks good. So we're pretty much there. Um, I do want to change the color of the primary links here. I don't want this blue. I want to have the same as the, as the, the nav bar. So I think that is class BTN primary. Okay, it's just the bootstrap um, class. And I just want to give it this color here. Actually, let me just grab this. Alright, let's 
check that out. All right, good. Uh, hover, I'm also going to change. Actually, we'll just leave that. That's fine. Um, all right. Form looks good. Um, all right. I'm actually going to take this, this hot marker out for right now. And if we have time, we'll put it back later. All right, so that should do it for our CSS. Um, next, we will finally get into actually um, programming this with PHP.